Hey, what's up guys, another video today. I'm going to walk you through how you can change this boring logo of Windows 10. I say it's boring because every time I boot up my PC, I'll see this logo. And for some PCs, you'll see the logo of the brand of your computer, like my laptop that is Dell, I'll see the Dell logo. For other laptops like Lenovo, you'll see that one. And how about changing this one with my own logo? That would be very cool because you can show it to your friends. You can also prank them and, and change that logo into a logo of Apple, okay? So that would be very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, one basic requirement for us to be able to change that, we need to check it here, type in MS Info 32 on the search bar and you will see system information. Okay, click system information and try to check the BIOS mode of your PC. So down below here, you should be able to see BIOS mode UEFI. So you, if you have UEFI, then it means you, we can do this one. Next thing we're going to do guys is restart our computer. Now restarting this computer, you need to press the shift button and then go for this restart button here while pressing the shift button so that we're going to go to that uh, troubleshoot mode for this PC or your laptop and try to disable secure boot, okay? So the next page or option we can see here is that option, go for troubleshoot and then advanced settings then you'll be able to see UEFI firmware, click on that, and then click on restart. This will allow us to go into the firmware settings of our laptop or PC so that we can disable the secure boot. So I'm here right now, this is the next page I see. And take note guys that uh, every laptop or brand of laptop have different interface. So you need to go ahead and look for that secure boot options and make sure that you are going to disable it. So for me, this is how it looks like. And I can see it just right here that I have secure boot. And then you can see that option secure boot enable. It is already unchecked, meaning this is already disabled. So since it's already disabled, I'll go ahead and exit this one so that we can proceed. Exit. Okay, so it will restart again. I have the Windows boot logo, but no problem. We're going to change it to the next step that we're going to do once we were able to get into our PC. Okay, so we're in. Uh, open up your browser. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below so that it would be easier for you. It's on GitHub. We need to download this file. It's a very small file named HackBGRT. Now let's go ahead and download this. Thanks to the people who made this file, HackBGRT, to make these steps a bit more easier for us if you want to customize this. So it's downloaded already. Let's locate the file, then extract this file so that we can use it. So right click, then extract all, extract. Right, so there you go. Let's go ahead and open the extracted file. You will see a file named setup. Let's just double click this. This will prompt us. Let's just go ahead for yes. Then there will be two CMD files that will be open. The one has this um, more information in the, the other one, just leave it alone. Go for this um, first option here. You will see install upgrade. We need to press the I key on our keyboard. Once you press that one, this will show up. You can read this one if you want to, but for me, it's not that kind of needed. So I'll just close it. Then this is the time it will open up um, this image on paint and make sure that you have your um, logo ready. So just go ahead and click file, then go for open. Click on this PC, we need to locate a drive here. So we need to scroll down and you will see two drives. The other drive is my main drive where my OS is installed. The other drive is where we need to change something. This is, uh, you can identify this one by the file size. It's in megabytes and it's very small. And once you open this, you will have a folder named EFI and then you can see HackBGRT folder. Just go ahead and open that HackBGRT folder. Have your personalized logo ready. 
Okay, so I have it on my desktop. Um, we need to change something first before we can use it. I'll just go ahead and right click, then edit. This will open up in paint. We need to change the size into at least 200 by 200 pexels. So I'll just change this one with pexels um, and then change this into 200. There you go. Then okay. The next thing I'm going to do, this is saved on a different file. So I'll just file, save us. I need to save this one in a BMP file. So I'll just save it on my desktop as well so that I can easily locate that. I'll change the type as a BMP. There you go. Then I'll type the name as splash so that we are going to replace the image of hack BGRT and then save that. Um, it's going to remove the transparency. Okay, that's okay with me. Okay, you'll see another file on my desktop that popped in. That's the new logo that we're going to use. I'll just go ahead and copy, then paste it here. This will overwrite that file. So replace the file destination, yes. So it's going to change that. Okay, it's good. Open, then, okay. We can close this one already. And HackBGRT is now installed press any key to quit so i'll press any key then let's try to restart it and uh, see if it really worked restarting aha i'm so excited oh it worked man yeah we got our custom logo appeared on the boot uh, right before it's going to start up so that's very cool i'll have my logo every time i'm going to boot up all right, that's working. How about if we want to turn it back to its original form? Maybe we're bored with our logo. So go back to hack BGRT, um, open that folder, then run the setup file again. It's very easy, go for yes. Then you will have this option. You have IDRC, you go and choose R. You're going to remove completely anything that is related with hack BGRT. Once you press this one, it is removed. Press any key to quit and restart our computer again to check if it's restored, all right? Okay, please wait. There you go. We got it successful already. Back to its original form. And yeah, if you like this video, like contents like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, subscribe and help me make a dream of 100,000 subscribers. See you on my next video.